hey guys welcome to my channel i am liz charlton and i create fashion beauty and lifestyle video if you're new here ensure that you hit the subscribe button and the subscribe to my channel if these are videos that you are interested in um in today's video i will be silk pressing my hair to achieve this silk press i went ahead and i did some curls as well just so it's a little bit more bouncy so if this is something that you'd like to see just keep on watching So guys, I went ahead and I already did wash my hair and I also did blow dry. I had it in like two, um, what you call those plaits. It was like just plait in two. So I went ahead and just take those off just now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to show you guys all the products and hot tools that I will be using in today's video. So of course I need heat protecting spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this heat protecting spray and this is the Contu um, Shea Butter Thermal Shield Heat Protectant. And I've been using this one for a while and I really love this heat protecting spray. So this is the one I'll be using today to silk press my hair. Also um, for my tools, I'm gonna be using the rock tail comb and also another comb here. This is so that I can do the tracing method because that's what I'll be using to um, silk press my hair. I find that that method works best for um, my hair type since it's so thick. Also, I have some clips so I can go ahead and section my hair. Um, just take the hair out of the way. It's a bit easier for me to use clips. So I'm gonna be using these clips here. I'm also going to be applying oils um, directly after I'm finished um, silk pressing my hair. I don't have any oil in my hair now only because I want my hair to be completely clean, no products, um, only what I use to wash it. Um, I just find that that's best. Um, as for hot tools, I'm using this Remington flat iron, nothing too special. This is the one I normally use to silk press my hair and also um, a smaller one just so I can get the edges. Just a little back story, it's the second time for the year I am still pressing my hair. I think I did it back in January. So maybe it's like a six months gap. Is it? I think so, but I know it's the second time I am still pressing my hair. Also, I'm gonna go ahead after this and clip my hair and I'm using just some regular share so this is the one that i'm going to be using so um let me just go ahead and section my hair So guys, I'm going to be doing the chasing method as I mentioned before and I have my flat iron on the highest settings which is 330. That's what I have my flat iron on and I'm going to be going over each each section of my hair only once because um, I don't want to cause any heat, um, heat damage. So in order to prevent that, I'm just going to go over it just once. I'm also going to be applying my um heat protecting spray on each section of my hair to do the tracing method what i did was to add the rock tail comb underneath my hair and then add my use my flat iron above and then once i press i remove the comb as well you guys can see what i'm doing in the video just in case my explanation is not that great <laughs> but this is exactly what i did so i'm going to go ahead and start the next section of my hair and what i'm doing here is just detangling my hair before i go ahead and press and i strongly recommend not using this type of comb to detangle your hair i did have a white tooth comb i'm not too sure why i am using this one <laughs>
you guys can see what i'm about to do here so for thicker sections of my hair where my roof is super super thick what i do is just take the flat iron and then just go over it a few times just to ensure that it's nice and straight And if you see me looking down, I do have a mirror here that I'm working from. So that's why I am looking down here. I'm going to be continuing the same process throughout my hair. Here you can see I'm just parting my hair into smaller sections. That way it's easy for me to work with and I can get it super, super flat this way as well. I'm going to be speeding up the rest of the video just so you guys could watch and see exactly what I'm doing here. Okay guys, so I've completed this side of my hair and I think my hair has grew so much but I also need a lot of trims. Let me show you the ends. I don't think you can see but I do need quite a bit of trim. But it grew so much. Okay, let me go ahead and just complete this side. So normally I'll have to go over my edges but I noticed that whenever I turn the flat iron this way it gets my edges super super flat that way I don't have to go over my edges with the smaller flat iron that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. Okay guys so I am completely finished with um, straightening my hair. So what I'm going to go in next and do is just trim the ends a little bit. Because you can see, I don't think, I'm not too sure if you can see in the camera, um, it does need a bit of trim. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So what I normally do is just take some sections. And I'm also not um, scared to cut my hair, like um, it will grow back. Like if it needs trimming, just, just cut it. And I'm just going to look at the bits that's like, look like it have a bit of split ends or um, it just doesn't look right to me. And I'm just going to cut it off.
does look flat so I think I'm gonna go in and just do some curls just to um, give it a bit more body rather than just bone straight let's see So I'm going to go in and just part my hair in the way I want it. I want it in a center part. And normally I'll do this before I still press my hair, but I totally forgot. So that's why I'm going in now. And I'll definitely recommend you do this before. That way, when you're pressing your hair, you can press it in the direction you wanted your part to be. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and just bought my hair a little bit. I think because of how big my flat iron is, I'm not getting the... The bump that I needed but I have a smaller one so um, not the tiny one that I showed you I have a middle sized one so I'm gonna go ahead and do that after it's not necessary now um, also I didn't use the smaller flat iron only because I don't really need it my hair is pretty straight how I wanted it and I think this is pretty much the end um, of the video, let me go ahead and just put some oil in my hair. I'm using the Argan Oil of Morocco and I really love this oil um, when I do like a press just to like tame and moisturize a little bit. Give me some sheen. I'm also going to add some to the ends. So this side of my hair is curled better than this side <laughs> okay so that's it for the end of this video if this video was something that you enjoyed go ahead and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment of which video you'd like to see from me next um, in terms of like my natural hair um, if there's anything that you'd like to request um, please go ahead leave it in the comment section below um, thank you guys so much for watching catch you next time bye